Hey there! Would you believe it's been a remarkable 67 years since the beloved TV series Leave It to Beaver first captivated audiences? This timeless show has woven itself into the fabric of our childhoods with its enthralling tales lingering in our memories. If you're eager to delve into the nostalgia and uncover all the untold truth, this video is for you. So, let's embark on this exploration together right now, shall we? Jerry Mathers played the character The Beaver. He was nine years old when the TV series ran in 1957. Here he is, at a cool 76, chilling in Sioux City, Iowa, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by his side. I was gonna, but there was a fire. <laughs> what fire? Our stove blew up. Wishing you a safe and sane 2013. I hope all your wishes come true, and by 2000... Wait. Barbara Billingsley played the character June Cleaver in the TV series when she was 42 years old in 1957. Sadly, on October 16, 2010, she left us due to polymyalgia at the age of 95 in Santa Monica, California. Her passing deeply saddens us. See, and can I have the new suit? <laughs> well, I guess you are about due for one. That's what I figured. Because a guy my age shouldn't go running around with bare wrists. <laughs> Two black fellas that were taught me jive. They're the ones that wrote the jive talk. And we went to lunch and we just... Stephen Talbot played the character Gilbert Bates. He was eight years old when the TV series ran in 1957. Fast forward to today, he's a lively 75-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Los Angeles, California. I'm the only Theodore Cleaver in the whole house. Hey, maybe it's a present. Let's go down to the post office and see what it is. Okay. I just told it. And we want to end it, so come help me end it. Now, once they got into the administration, they saw that that was essentially a lot. That Nixon... Tony Dow played the character Wally Cleaver. He was 12 years old when the TV series ran in 1957. July 27, 2022 was a tough one. He left us due to cancer at 77 years old in Topanga, California. It's a sad loss for all of us. Boy, if I was a girl and I saw you coming, I'd run a million miles. Gee, Wally, I'll be taking a bath between now and Saturday. You're becoming aware of some anger. Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, my anger stemmed from lack of control. With, in, in the... Ken Osmond played the character Eddie Haskell. He was 14 years old when the TV series ran in 1957. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on May 18, 2020, he left us after complications from COPD at 77 in Los Angeles, California. We're really feeling the loss. Get a paper. Oh? <laughs> well, I sincerely hope everything works out all right. Uh, I was shot three times by a, by a car thief. And he'd run around a corner and using very bad tactics on my part, I assumed that he'd continued... Robert Rusty Stevens played the character Larry Mondello. He was nine years old when the TV series ran in 1957. Check it out, at 76 years old, he's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah? How come? Well, because you get paid good money and you never get sick. Never? Uh-uh. Did you ever have a... What are you doing for peak performance, huh, Beef? Hey, a Vishnu. You know, it's just plain old Larry Mondello again. My parents got me deprogrammed. And Dad made me run. Hugh Beaumont played the character Ward Cleaver. He was 48 years old when the TV series ran in 1957. Sadly, on May 14, 1982, he left us due to a heart attack at the age of 73 in Munich, Germany. His passing deeply saddens us. It worked out okay. Wally got home all right, huh? Yeah, Wally got home fine. Oh, good. Now, as your mother said, uh... It doesn't really matter what you believe. You mind if I talk to her? I, uh... I don't want to wake her. Uh, she's completely worn out. Uh, no, you wouldn't have to... Richard Correll played the character Richard Rickover. He was nine years old when the TV series ran in 1957. Here he is, at a cool 76, chilling in Los Angeles County, California, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by his side. Where do you think you lost it? I know where I lost it. Where? At that house they're building over on Madison Street. Me and Whitey figured we'd go in and pick up some nails. 
Right. And of course, I was a big monster fan anyway, watching right. all those little movies, and I freaked out when I met him. Yeah, I got to know him pretty well, and then when we were doing Leave it to Beaver, I don't want to get ahead. Stanley Fafara played the character Whitey Whitney in the TV series when he was seven years old in 1957. September 20th, 2003 was a tough one. He left us due to complications from surgery to repair a constricted intestine caused by a hernia at 53 years old in Portland, Oregon. It's a sad loss for all of us. He said he'd take us, but he has to work this Saturday. Yes, well, uh, unfortunately, I have to work Saturday, too. Yes, Mr. Cleaver. It probably happened. Tiger Fafara played the character Tui Brown in the TV series when he was 12 years old in 1957. Fast forward to today, he's a lively 79-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in San Francisco, California. You want half? Can you do that with it? Not for two dollars and thirty cents. Boy, I just all go in half, though. Frank Bank played the character Clarence Rutherford in the TV series when he was 15 years old in 1957. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on April 13th, 2013, he left us after natural causes at 71 in Los Angeles, California. We're really feeling the loss. What are you doing? We'll give him a little bit at a time to make it seem real. You know, Eddie, I've been thinking. Yeah, what have you been thinking about, Clyde? And why won't they explain? Because remember, when you offer somebody nothing, this is what you get. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I don't have to. Burt Mustin played the character Gus the Fireman in the TV series when he was 73 years old in 1957. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on January 28, 1977, he left us after natural causes at 93 in Glendale, California. We're really filling the loss. A little bitty net. Well, what did you do? Well, I, I kept thinking about it. I said to myself, well, other men do it, and I don't think there are any theme song, and uh, I, I've always wondered why on earth it was ever chosen, because it had nothing to do with baseball, nothing to do